Okay guys, this is the Angry Prepper. So, today's video, as you can see, I am canning uh, beef stew. So this is my first shot at it. Uh, given a lot of different advice this guy's doing this whole canning process. I've actually been following one person, like I mentioned in my uh, shorter canning video, where I canned the, uh, the beef right there, right? So now I'm doing beef stew. This is all a uh, raw pack or cold packing, if you will, because we are... Well, I'm trying something different, and I think I'm moving a little fast, but fuck it. Uh, while I'm in this this, uh, this canning mode, I might as well abuse it while I can. So as you guys can see here, we have potatoes, beef, carrots, and an onion that I'm going to slice up. I might put it in, I might not. And uh, there you go. It's cubed meat, right? That's stew meat. All right, so this is what uh, I'm going to be canning. And uh, I'll show you guys the uh, the next scene where... I have everything in the jars ready to go into the can. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I filled these up with uh, half beef broth, half water because of the fat content in the beef broth. So they said if there's too much fat content, it can actually screw with the, um, with the seal. So there's potato, carrots, and then you see the beef at the bottom. I'm going to cover these now, put them in the canner, and then you guys will see the... Uh, the next step after that. All right, guys. So my canners, my cans or jars, are set in the canner. Um, here's the other, a couple of quick tips. Before you put the lids on, you have to wipe down the, the rim of the jar uh, on the outside and the very top. Uh, some people use white vinegar. I just use uh, water and paper towel to get it off. Uh, so if it's a greasy substance, then you should definitely use white uh, vinegar. But if you also use a little funnel, this thing here. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but just to double check, make sure you um, you wipe the, the rim down and you wash these lids before you uh, you put them on. Okay, guys, hopefully you can hear me over this rocking, but uh, once the steam starts pissing out of this for 10 minutes straight, then you put the, uh, the weight on. And the weight right now is 5 pounds. Um, it's different for every altitude or area, rather, that you live in. So this is what it's supposed to sound like when it's rocking. Um, if it's rocking violently, you have to turn the heat down. If it's rocking too slow, you got to turn the heat up. So you got to find that sweet spot, if you will, uh, when it comes to the can. So this here, that pops up automatically. If this pops up, that means you have too much pressure and you have to start all over again. All right, guys, so stay tuned to the, uh, I guess, the final part of the video. Okay, guys. So this is the final product. This is what beef stew looks like after it's been uh, pressurized. So it's an hour and a half. And after the hour and a half is up, you turn the oven off and you let it sit. And then when the pressure gauge uh, comes down, which is this metal object here, then you can uh, open up the can. But I wait a little longer after the uh, pressure gauge goes down. And not pressure gauge, but it's, uh, I guess it's a pressure spot. I'll get the correct term now. But anyway, when that goes down, I wait a little longer, then I, I uh, open a can. That means that all the pressure is gone, and now you can open it safely. If it's still up, do not open it until all the pressure is uh, out of the can. So guys, this is, uh, it's pretty easy, guys. It's straightforward. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of steps, but there is certain things you have to pay attention to uh, when you're canning things like this. But other than that, the 10 minutes of pressurized uh, air blowing out of the spout, make sure the rim is clean and clear, and leave it in for 90 minutes or whatever the altitude uh, you're supposed to adjust it at. And that's pretty much it, guys. So other than that, uh, I'm gonna be doing this more, but this was just a test run, if you will. Uh, all of the lids are sunken in, as you can see at the top, so it's ready to rock and roll. So now the final test, by the way, guys, is taking the uh, lids, or the screws, the caps, if you will, sorry, the rims, taking these off, 
and making sure that it has a proper seal. That's how you know that it's uh, it's sealed correctly. Not only with the the uh, top, the lid being sunken in, but also when you take this off and release it, this should not come off. If this comes off, that means they weren't um, they weren't sealed correctly, and I would have to do it all over again. All right, guys. So other than that, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe to this channel. I will do a more in-depth uh, video on canning once I get better at it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.